Let's talk trading gurus and the truth behind how this all works in regards to learning how to trade, learning how to make money, you know, insert blank of anything that you would associate with a trading guru. And this was all inspired, as far as this video is concerned, by a comment I got on YouTube. So I wanna just read the comment through because it's actually, first off, I mean, by no means was he being a troll about it. It was very respectful. But at the core, it was a really good question. And I 100% understand where he's coming from. And I can understand. So I'm going to do my best, at least, to explain how it works. And I get it. I am, technically speaking, a trading guru. and I, But I'm going to ex explain what you need to look for. And I don't want to say that I'm the only one that behaved in this manner. So, you know, I'm the only one out there that you should trust. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying this, you know, thought process and what you should look for will help you get started in terms of differentiating what this person is getting at. So let me take a, let's read through this real quick. So Nathan says, honestly, I hate to say it, but how can you blame this person when there's thousands of people on the internet claiming that they have the right strategy? How can you tell the difference between somebody who's just blowing smoke up your butt, thank you for keeping it PG, Nathan, and someone actually telling you the truth? No offense to you, Clay, but when you don't know anything about trading, it's really hard to tell. And Nathan, you're absolutely right. When you, I mean, I say it all the time on the channel. When you don't know what you don't know, one of the things you don't know is, I don't know, is this person being honest with me? Is this person, do they actually have the strategy that's for me? How do you know? Well, the best set this up, this is how you know. And let me tell you a story and then I'll relate it back. But here we have Tom. And Tom is given two proposals. Well, and Tom wants to build a house, right? They bought a piece of land. It's beautiful. They want to buy, they want to build a house. So they go out there and one, one choice being given to them is there you go. Hey, I got it. I got it. I'll figure it out for you. Don't worry about it. I'm going to, I got it there. You're, you're just going to have a house. You just pay me. There's your house. The other is down here, and don't judge, I'm not quite an artiste, but we have, you know, a screwdriver, <laughs> supposed to be a hammer, uh, we have some screws and nails. In other words, you know, I better just tell you what this is because you have tools. And this person is telling you, hey, pay me, I'll teach you how to use tools so that you can build the house. So ask yourself the question here, which one of those sounds better to you? Hey, pay me and you'll have a house or pay me and I'll teach you about tools, but you still got to build the house, right? The question boils down to, from Todd's point of view, what one sounds like more work, right? Which one sounds good? Of course, you're going to say, Clay, this is stupid. Why would I pay somebody to teach me how to use tools and then I still have to go build a house when I can just pay somebody and they just give me the house? This right here is how you can tell. There we go. That it is somebody highly, highly misleading you. Yeah, from a business perspective, from them selling you something, that's genius. That's the right way to go, right? The path of least resistance. Tell the buyer, tell the potential customer, if you want to get money out of their pocket, what do you tell them? What they want to hear? What do they want to hear? The least path of resistance. The path which just makes it sound like, oh, wow, you have a strategy. I sign up. You'll teach me to trade exactly how you trade. And then you got it all figured out. Well, of course, that, that's what you would want to do. But that's not how trading works. Because... At the under, and this is what people don't tell you, well, some people won't tell you, is that down here, we have something known as personal risk tolerance. So I'm just gonna put it as personal risk, meaning we're all different creatures of risk. Some people, and I use this example all the time, some people, they wanna have fun by going skydiving. Other people say, no, 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 fun for me is taking a hike through the woods. Other people say, no, 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 hiking, that's outside. Skydiving, that's outside. I just want to stay inside and read a book. Are any of those people wrong? Absolutely not. They all are having fun in different ways. But what's determining their ability to have fun? Well, their personal risk. Very clearly, the person that wants to go skydiving has a higher risk tolerance than somebody that wants to stay and read a book. 
Trading is the same way. And that is why you need to learn the tools and then go build yourself the house. Because at least at that point in time, it is gonna be a house built on a foundation of your personal risk tolerance. If you go out there and you start just, oh, they have a system that works. Oh, I'm just gonna trade like them. Oh, I'm just gonna copy their trades. Again, that the path of least resistance. But you need to be able to think for yourself as a trader. You need to be operating and behaving and trading in a manner that is built around your personal risk tolerance. That's why me personally, if you sign up with my training programs, sorry, you don't get a house. You get a very, very good knowledge of the tools. I will show you everything about the tools, how they work, how they function, give you some starting points of where you can build, but at the end of the day, yeah, sorry, you are paying me to just learn tools, but you are still gonna need to go out there and build something that works for you because you are not me, I am not you. We have different risk tolerance levels. So it, it is gonna take work. Well, that doesn't sound very easy. Trading's not easy, okay? It's not very good for me to make the sale, but this is the reality of the matter. So Nathan, you asked the great question. So at the point, or at the core, how, how do you really tell? Well, if somebody's trying to tell you that they have the strategy, don't, that, that's, that just doesn't work. Now, to be fair, maybe they have the strategy for them, maybe their strategy works for them, but you are not them. You have a different personal risk tolerance, so that doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. Now, in many situations, they don't have a strategy anyways, but even assuming they do, that still doesn't get you to where you need to be because you have a different personal risk tolerance. So that's how you tell, Nathan. What is somebody telling you? Hey, listen, I'll teach you tools, I'll teach you about how to behave, generally speaking, but you still gotta build something for yourself, and that's gonna take time, that's gonna take effort, that's gonna take blood, sweat, and tears. If somebody's telling you that, then, then okay. They have taken the, the very annoying, the very brutal process of just telling you that, yeah, sorry, there is no magic system. That is who, that, you know, that, that's somebody that's gonna be putting you more self, I'm, I can't say on a pathway to guaranteed success, because that doesn't exist, but at least they're putting you on a pathway to get you pointed in the right direction, where you're focused on building something based upon your personal risk tolerance, not just trying to go out there and puppet trade or copy trade, mirror trade, you know, whatever terms you wanna use, and you know, trying to follow somebody else's system and strategy. That's just, if that's the feel you get, is they're just saying, hey, follow me, I got it all figured out, I got it all taken care of, all you gotta do is follow, follow, follow me, then for me, that's a red flag because that's just not how trading works from a human psychology standpoint because of that risk tolerance problem. So Nathan, great question, thank you for asking. Hopefully this uh, helps you out. And uh, on that note, because this whole video was inspired by a, a comment, if you have any sort of questions or comments or suggestions, please leave those down below in the comment section. I mean, I'm not gonna promise that I'll actually do a video on it, uh, but this was definitely something where it was worth a video and because I, I get a little off people asking this because it's true when you're when you're new and you don't know anything I don't know who's blowing smoke I don't know who's actually being legitimate um, so great question and if you have anything like I said leave those down in the comment section below also hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and check out the channel as a whole lots of other videos out there a good variety of things and hopefully you decide to hit that subscribe button I'd love to have you as a subscriber so thanks for hanging out and get out there and just consider these things is somebody offering you up the house already or somebody saying, here's the tools, but yeah, sorry, you still have a lot more work ahead. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. 
click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.